Dr. Nina Brown is a professor and eminent scholar in counseling and human services at Old Dominion University. She earned her doctorate in education with a concentration in counseling from the College of William and Mary, her master's degree in counseling from Old Dominion College, and her bachelor's degree in psychology from Virginia State College. Dr. Brown is quick to point out that she is not a group therapist. Rather, she sees herself as an academic and teacher, one who's focused for many years on teaching group skills to both graduate and undergraduate students. When I asked how she had become interested in teaching courses in group counseling, Nina told me it was actually a bit of an accident. You see, she told me, I was the only faculty member who'd had a course in group. At that time, she continued, psychologists didn't have a course requirement in group work, and many were thrown into leading groups during internship with very little formal uh, training. Happily for us, Dr. Brown would spend a good deal of her energy and organizational know-how helping to change this. One glance at her curriculum vita will tell you that Nina Brown is a scholar who reveres the written word. Over the past several decades, she has written and published 35 books and more than 50 articles and book chapters on topics ranging from psychoeducational group work, narcissistic personality, and interpersonal skill development. God, Nina, get some sleep. <laughs> But her passion for writing doesn't stop at her office door. Most people would be surprised to know that I devour mystery and science fiction books, she told me. I read several a week. Nina called my attention to the similarities between the mind of her favorite detective and the mind of an effective group therapist. Both need to be interested in the secrets and shame that people may want to hide in order to move the narrative or the group forward. Throughout her career, Dr. Brown has advocated for competent training and group work in several national organizations, notably serving as president and past president of APA Division 49, the Society for Group Psychology and Group Psychotherapy. Nina is a past president of the Mid-Atlantic Group Psychotherapy Society and has served many times on the AGPA faculty at the annual meeting. She also wrote the widely praised AGPA curriculum on psychoeducational groups. Most recently, Dr. Brown was elected secretary for AGPA from 2016 to 2018, in which capacity she agreed to chair the multi-organizational effort to petition APA for specialty status recognition of group psychotherapy for professional psychologists. The success of Nina's leadership, pulling together the energies of vastly disparate stakeholders, has ensured that group psychotherapy training will be an important part of the standard curriculum for psychologists across the United States. As one of her colleagues noted, Nina's voluminous work on psychoeducational groups is an articulate, thoughtful, integrative exposition on this popular treatment modality. The corpus of her writing in this area represents a most singular contribution to the field. And this morning, I am honored to introduce to you all the most singular, distinguished fellow of AGPA, Dr. Nina Brown. I thought I was terrified before. Even more so now, after that wonderful introduction, I even said to Eleanor, is she talking about me? <laughs> so I want you to know I'm standing here full of emotion, full of love and appreciation for all that you, all of you, 
especially in AGPA, have given me throughout the years. But I want to express special appreciation to the Fellowship Committee and it, the endorses, and all of this is done without the candidate knowing that these letters of endorsement are being collected. So putting it together has to be a great undertaking and I am profoundly grateful for all who participated in helping me to receive this wonderful award. Um, I'm humbled and gratified that I was deemed worthy to be designated as a distinguished fellow of the American Group Psychotherapy Association. I also want to express thanks and appreciation to the members of the Mid-Atlantic Group Psychotherapy Society where I started my journey toward learning more about group therapy. Who These people graciously funded a presentation at this conference in my honor. So I'm sending a lot of love and good wishes your way. Now, I don't have much time, and I know Marcia will come and get me if I take too much time. She's already told me, you don't have a lot of time. But I want, there are a couple of things I want to convey to you about what I have learned at the AGPA conferences. The first is that meetings with highly educated, experienced mental health professionals can quickly become chaotic. Two, you don't have to know where you are or where to go. Someone is always willing to tell you where to go. <laughs> but as I tell my students quite frequently, just because somebody tells you to go to hell doesn't mean you have to go. <laughs> Another thing I learned is that sunshine and fresh, fresh air are overrated. It's better to sit for hours in a windowless room with strangers. <laughs> Sleep and other good health habits are suspended for the conference. And you don't have to know how to dance to get on the dance floor. So please get out there and join. My personal learning includes gaining a broader perspective of group therapy, which I am in many ways trying to pass on to my students. I've also learned that you can make deep and meaningful connections here at the conference, and I treasure those, and you'll find that these can endure over the years and become very meaningful to you. I also receive unanticipated insights and new knowledge, both about group therapy and about me. And this is something that other conferences cannot give you, are the many insights that sometimes you get about yourself. And, it, and this one's very important. Uh, I continue to gain new ideas, possibilities, and material on narcissism. Now, if you really want to know about narcissism, go to a faculty meeting. <laughs> I keep telling my colleagues I'll keep writing books as long as I keep attending these meetings. <laughs> People are more inclined to be kind and helpful than not is one of the major learnings I've taken away from these conferences and the wonderful people I've encountered. My heartfelt thanks and best wishes go to all, and I thank you.